The Rose Garden of the White House is the setting for a special noontime ceremony. President Johnson formally accepts from Joseph Hirshhorn one of the largest and most valuable private art collections in the world. This is a day to remember, the proudest day of my life. When I began to collect art in 1917, I certainly did not dream that it would lead to this. I always believed in my heart that American art, like our nation itself, had a spirit and a vitality that would one day affect and influence art all over the world. It is an honor to have given my art collection to the people of the United States as a small repayment for what this great nation has done for me and others like me who arrived here as immigrants. I was six years old when my mother brought me here from Latvia. What I accomplished here in the United States, I could not have accomplished anywhere else in the world. As the Herschel Museum becomes an ever greater educational and cultural asset to the nation, its effect will be to help all our people benefit from the profoundly civilizing influence of art on our lives. Thank you. Melissa Chu, director of the Hershaw Museum and Sculpture Garden, our National Museum of Modern Art located in Washington, DC. The Hershaw is the voice of the most exciting art and artists of our time, a hub where people, art and ideas converge. While our museum building itself, an iconic piece of modern architecture has been closed, we've had the unique opportunity to continue to share the art on view in our outdoor galleries with visitors to the National Mall. With nearly four acres of outdoor space, the museum maintains a year-round display of over 30 artworks, many of which comprise Joseph Hirshhorn's original gift of art to our nation. This summer, we added two new monumental thought-provoking sculptures, Huma Baba's We Come in Peace and Double Candle by Sterling Ruby. Viewed alongside existing holdings by artists such as Rodin, Picasso, and Giacometti, these new works underscore the Hirshhorn's commitment to highlighting the voice of artists working today while building on the forward-looking vision of Joseph Hirshhorn's original collection. We're so thrilled to be participating in this year's Night of Ideas and to share two interviews with Huma Baba and Sterling Ruby, as well as two virtual performances inspired by our sculpture garden. We hope you'll continue to join the Hirshhorn online for virtual exhibitions and artist talks, and that you will visit our sculpture garden in Washington, DC, when it is safe to travel. Before we turn to Hirshhorn curators in their conversations with Huma Baba and Sterling Ruby, Let's hear from artist Jeff Koons, who will introduce his sculpture, Kip and Co, one of the very first artworks you'll see when you visit the Hirshhorn's Sculpture Garden. Thank you and have a wonderful night. Hi, I'm Jeff Koons. I'm an artist. I live in New York City. The Kip and Curl comes from Munster, Germany, and it's in a town square. It's originally in bronze and it's a symbol of the self-sufficiency of the community, that uh, they can grow their own potatoes, their eggs, their own ham, uh, you know, that they have rabbits, uh, tobacco. It's really a symbol of self-sufficiency, that all the needs are being met. The reason I put the kip and curl into stainless steel was to put it in a reflective material that was still tied to the proletariat. It's not uh, gold, it's not silver, but yet it has the visual, uh, the visual sense of transcendence, of being connected with something that's greater than the self, but yet you still feel that your economic needs are met when you look at the object. It's a sense of transcendence. 